Haven't said too much about, but he was fifth fastest, Damon, in the Williams in that second qualifying session. And uh, we didn't really see it, but he's, he's going really, really well here, isn't he? Yeah, he's looking strong. Um, I think he's, he's starting to show signs of becoming a very solid driver. Um, again, again, Williams also coming on strong as time goes by, building. They've got a Toyota engine, and Toyota is showing well too. So there's a combination there that could come good. Um, but no one's going to touch the McLarens at the moment, I think. Ferrari may do, but they're looking pretty dominant as we watch the, the leader of the pack there. Um, bringing them round to start the, the main business of the afternoon. Yeah, this is uh, the phase where they uh, put a few laps in, just get the cars uh, set up the way they wanted to. Uh, usually uh, they burn off about to uh, get right underneath Alonso's car at that point. Ted Kravitz, what can you tell us? Yeah, just uh, while we wait for uh, news from Ferrari, very annoyed down here at Renault. They feel that Mark Webber in the Red Bull held up Heike Kovalainen on his run. They just got a word with Heike. He said, well, yes, he did kind of hold, hold me up, but I probably wouldn't have gone much quicker. So we'll wait and see if there's any protest on that. But just on the, Damon, on, on the reason why Lewis can wait at the end of the pit lane like that, um, apparently it's because the Mercedes is able to go into a mode where it only runs on four cylinders. Uh, it cuts four cylinders out, just runs on a V4, which uh, helps the cooling. Well, not so many years ago, I, um, I, then uh, the engines, if they were left running like that, they would just burst into flames. I mean, they, they can't get rid of the heat. There's no fans on the car, so the radiators are fantastic uh, when the cars are moving. But if they're not moving, they're a bit like sharks, you know, they can't breathe when they're standing still or something like that. Well, you won here back in 93, again in uh, 95. You almost memorably won here in 97 in an Arrows on Bridgestone tyres with a Yamaha engine in the back. Unfortunately, Jack Villeneuve spoiled the party that day and uh, took it away from you at the very end. But uh, you obviously have what it takes to go quick around the Hungara ring. What does it take? What's the secret then for Hamilton now? What's he got to unlock to, to beat the long sir? Well, people ask me, you know, what, what secret, what can I give to, to a Hamilton? From time? I, I can't give anything. The guy's got everything he needs, you know. He is fantastic. And he's, he's gone out this weekend in attacking mode. You can see him. He actually went off once, uh, but he was trying, and he had a car on the track in front of him, and that's the reason why. But, you know, if you don't try, you don't find out where the limit is. And, and he's, he's just been, you know, banging in the laps and uh, showing that he's going to fight all the way. What is the fastest way around this race track? Well, it's, it's got some long corners. Uh, um, it's got four 180-degree corners in it. And so the, point, the significance of that is that the tyres and the whole car is having to work for a very long time. So you have to feel comfortable with the, with the car on the entry. It's a long corner. You've got to go in deep, and you've got to stay hard into the apex and, and get on the power early and just be comfortable with the car.